This is why I always have business. Because I take all those orders that nobody wants. What's up YouTube? Got a huge challenge today. Took this crazy order. It's a three color front, three color back, and a three color sleeve. But that's not even the crazy part. It's 50 garments, 15 ink changes. I'll repeat that, 15 ink changes and 15 custom screens. Crazy, huh? And I know what you're probably thinking. Sometimes it's better to say no to those types of orders. But it's a customer that's been very loyal to us. And of course, I cannot do this for all of them. But when I do have time, I don't mind going that extra mile for my people. And stick around to the end. I'm gonna show you how much I made and how long it took me to complete this order. And make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. It motivates me to keep pushing content. But honestly, I gotta get to work. Silly me, I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Milo and I work in a garage. Now let me get back to work. And quoting my screens and unboxing all these shirts is the easy part. Now comes the good stuff, prepping the artwork and burning the screens. Wish me luck. So it was a lot of work, but everything went pretty smooth. The designs are nice and bold, so the wash out was uh, pretty uh, pretty great. Screens are nice and burned. The film is taped to the platter, so I can register the screens to the film. All the shirts are nice and sorted out. And we're ready to rock and roll. Now, if you want to learn how to register a multi-color print, check out this YouTube video. I'm going to put it in one of these corners. I go so into depth with the whole process. I literally start a project from scratch all the way to the finished work. And if there's anything that you want to learn, let us know in the comments so I can have an idea of what to create next. Now let's get to work. And I almost forgot to tell you about the tape. Try to use screen printing tape. It will make the whole uh, ink change process a lot smoother. And yes, you could get away with scotch tape, but when it comes to ink changes, I don't recommend it. Maybe regular jobs, I do. But ink changes, not that much. And I do love this tape because it's very affordable, and I'm a cheap guy, but it absorbs so much ink, and cleaning it, it's pretty impossible. Plus, the adhesive on this tape is not that strong, so as soon as it starts to get wet, it'll start to lose its tackiness. Long story short, stick to the screen printing tape. It's gonna save you some time, money, and some headaches. And if you wanna know where to find this, the link's in our bio. Now let's get to work. All right, we're gonna do our first ink change. We're gonna go from a red to a royal blue. And you really don't need much to get this job done. All you need is plastic salt press wash and some rags. And of course, the ink container to scoop the ink back in here. All right, we're gonna start by scooping up the ink first. Right? Really easy, super simple. Try to scoop as much as you can. Save some money. There we go. We scoop the ink from the squeegee. From the squeegee. Because we also gotta clean the squeegee. Because we're gonna reuse it. And I know I said that this tape kinda sucks. 
Just look at the difference from the blue tape in this. You'll see a big difference right now. All right, so now we throw in some plastic of fresh ones. Okay, what's going on here? This chemical is going to break the ink apart. It's going to help you kind of pick it up and everything. Just break the ink apart. You see right here? You can't clean it because uh, because that tape kind of absorbs. Oh, you can't see it. This tape kind of absorbs the ink. Now you kind of use two rags to clean up the, this whole process. The first rag is to kind of break out, break down the ink, and the second rag is going to be to clean it up. Put this over here. Another spray. Turn this upside down. I, I made myself a little bit more complicated than it was. I made it more complicated than it was. Usually what I do when I have a big order, I tie something around here so I can leave my squeegee here and it won't go all the way. But I don't know why I forgot that. But it's fine, it's not a big deal. It's a small, small quantity. Look at that. See how it's cleaning up? Cleaning up. See how easy this tape cleans up? This is what you want. Look at this other tape. You see how you can't really clean it up? Alright. We have another rag. Spray it. Spray this again. And clean the bottom. Make sure all the ink is out. Give it a good pass. Boom, 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 boom. It should be nice and dandy. Now that we have the squeegee and the screen clean, it's time to add a new color. And I wish I could show you guys every ink change, but it's just gonna take forever. I won't be able to have that order on time. But enjoy this time lapse. Here's another tip whenever you are doing multiple ink changes. Always try to start from the lightest color to the darkest color. Example, you have white, blue, and black, right? You're gonna start from the lightest being the white, the blue being the medium, and the black being the darkest color. Because there's gonna be times when you take all the ink off the screen. And let's say you started with the black and you're gonna change it into a white ink. And you didn't get everything off and you just left a little spot of black in there. And you put the white ink on top, and you start printing, then the ink is gonna start to get muddy. It's gonna give you like a grayish look. It's gonna change the color of the ink. Vice versa, you leave a little bit of the white ink on the screen and then you put the black ink on top and you start printing. Well, you won't probably notice it. There won't be a huge difference because usually a uh, darker ink overcomes the lighter ink, if that makes sense. Hopefully it does. Now let's continue with the video.
Sheesh! Finally, we're almost done. Last thing changes. Last one. I got this one and this one. And that's it. We are finally done. All right, let's talk about how long it took me to complete that order and how much we made. So it took me around two to three days, but because there were so many things going in between, trying to record a YouTube video and printing an order takes uh, longer than you expect. I also had a rush order, so I had to put everything on hold. Plus, I don't have a conveyor drive, so the curing process does take me a little bit longer. But a regular order like this takes me around eight to 12 hours. And the total profit that I made from this order was 850. Now you divide 850 by 12, that's uh, like 70 bucks an hour. So it's really not that bad. And also not that good because orders like this do take a lot of time. But at the end of the day, I love those type of challenges. And every time I finish an order like that, I learn something new. And I forgot to mention that he uh, provided the garments. I just provided my screen printing services. And I'm gonna post his Instagram on the bio just in case you like any of his merch. And if you wanna see what we printed on today, make sure to watch the video all the way to the end. Once again, have a beautiful day and God bless.